Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, it is literally quarter past five on a Monday night and it's a bit black. So, I dyed my hair using... It's in the bin. The Night Wilson, Night and Wilson 10.21 Latest Ash Blonde. And this is how it's turned out. It looks so different in different lights and it was so difficult to do on my own. I hate having to dye my own hair because I can't afford to go to the hairdresser. Hey ho, so I did the best that I could. I still kept my natural colour underneath. I don't know if you can see in this lighting it very well, but anyway, it's done. So. <coughs> <coughs> We have another empties video. I'll maybe turn down the brightness on the ring light since we've got the main light one. So let's just get started. Oh. You know how I absolutely love this brush cleaner from Primark. It is the PS Pro Makeup Brush Cleaning Spray. You get 100 mils for £2 and they don't do it anymore. And I'm absolutely gutted in Primark. What you play out, get it back. Well, I thought this was my last one and I was gutted. Excuse me. And I ended up going back to the using a gentle shampoo or a soap to do my brushes. And I was like, this is torture because you have to wait for them to dry and it's so much more of a process. Anyway, long story short, I was sorting out my cupboard over there and I found another bottle. So I've got one more bottle in my clutches. <coughs> so, yay to that. They've got like this solid clean cleaner, like a solid soap cleaner, but I'm like, no, well, that's not what I want. <clears throat> I have used up these. These, I've got a box over there which has my Christmas stuff in that I took down from my house when I moved here. A lot of it is gingerbread themed because I've collected that over the years. And um, I had some tea like candles. So I've had, I think I've got three packs. I didn't even realise how many I had anyway. But I got gifted these ones by, I think it was a fellow YouTuber and subscriber. Like, well, it's three years on the 29th of November when my dad died. So I think it was around about then. So I can't remember who got me these. But these are from um, waxlyrical.com. Look how cute. I almost want to keep the little packaging but oh they smell so good so this is nine scented tea lights in gingerbread man it says a gourmand spicy accord with citrus top notes leading to a heart of toasted cinnamon ginger and clove enveloped by a base of sweet biscuit brown sugar and vanilla so this was a pack of does it say how many nine and i've got one left to burn oh <laughs> and i have one here I left it in here hoping it would make this room smell nice. For some reason, like the window is always open, always. But see the flat through the wall? You can smell whatever they cook in here and it's disgusting. I hate it. So yeah, so there is those. <clears throat> and then of course, another big one of the Wickford and Co gingerbread candle that you get from Home Bargains. I think I kept saying it was one ninety nine, but my partner says it's two ninety nine or something. Anyway, it's not expensive. You are getting. Does it say how big this candle is? Eighteen ounces, and it is the bomb. The only thing I'm gutted about with this one is the wick. Every time we go to light it, it just goes out. So I can't do anything more with it, which makes me sad. I mean, I could just leave it with the lid off and hopefully it'll scent the place. But yeah, I highly recommend these. They've got these ones. They've got the little... <clears throat> 
tea light ones as well and then they've got like small jars but and another great tip see the lid from it I just keep it and put my little tea light in it happy days who knew it was so creative actually talking of tea lights put some in there one of them is there so it's completely gone <clears throat> what's this now I have hold on for a bit of context I have my Chanel this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Compact and this is the centre of it and it's done right so obviously I'll keep this part but I don't think I've got tweezers here to show you actually but I was watching Shannon Exo last night and she had a cushion one by some other brand and she was saying what she did was she took her tweezers and took the cushion out and she got more of the product so I'm glad that I haven't completely got rid of this yet because one it's expensive and two you know you're just like if you can get more of the product why not like when I press my hand onto it the tiniest bit of product comes out I love the smell of Chanel stuff. So, there is that. As I say, this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Gel Touch Foundation SPF 25. Excuse me, and this is in the shade number 30. So, I'm going to leave that there and I'll get some tweezers and try and see. I have finished up the Olerplex. Maybe I need to film more at night and with this light on because my camera seems to focus better. Uh, this is the Olaplex number 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Moisturises, smooths, adds body and shine for all hair types. You get 100 millilitres and it is £26. Expensive. However, our friend is a hairdresser. She doesn't like do hairdressing anymore, but she has a Sally's Trades card. So at the time when she did my hair and my hair didn't take to the colour and let's not get into it. Obviously, she gave me her Sally's card to get the stuff to do the hair. So I paid for that. And I got this with her Sally's card as well. And I can't remember, it was either 14 or £16 I got it for. So <clears throat> if you or someone you know has a Sally's card, it's the perfect time to use it to get things like this at a cheaper price. So this one, <clears throat> sorry, such a dry throat. <clears throat> this one is just like any other mask as such. I've not used the Olerplex number zero and I haven't used the shampoo and conditioner or the oil. The only ones I've used is this number eight and number three. Personally, I think number three, if you're going to try anything from Olerplex, try number three. It is by far the best one. If, however, you cannot afford to invest in Olerplex number three, there are quite a few brands that are doing bond treatments now that are just as good. Revolution Hair Care have one and it only costs £10. Um, there's the Redken Absolute that has like a bonding treatment. Obviously, that is going to be expensive as well because Redken is an expensive brand. I was kindly sent a little Redken set by the lovely Laura who is a subscriber and friend to my channel and she sent me the kit with the um, Redken shampoo, conditioner and the leave-in treatment and it's brilliant as well. It is expensive but there are other ones out there if you cannot afford to get the other plaques. So I would use this again but I'm not in any rush to run out and buy it, if you get what I mean, because I didn't notice a great amount of difference using this compared to when you put the number three treatment on. So the gist of the number three treatment is, so if I was going to put the number three treatment on, I would go and wet my hair just now, put the treatment on, leave it for however long, go and wash it off, shampoo condition my hair as normal. With this one, you would go and wash your hair with shampoo, take the shampoo off, then put this on, leave it for 10 minutes or longer if you 
need to, rinse this off and then you do your conditioner. So to me, this is it's just a hair mask, even though it has the bond intensity in it. So it's maybe doing a bit more than any of your other hair masks that you might use. I still find that the number three, because it is a bonding treatment, you are going to notice the benefits. I think that's enough on that one. <laughs> Another thing I have used up is this e.l.f. A daily face cleanser with purified water. It was okay. I got this as a free gift back at the beginning of the year when I ordered some stuff from Superdrug and I got some e.l.f. things because I wanted to do a face of a a full face of e.l.f. products and it came with this little free gift bag that had this and other things in it. So this isn't something that I chose myself. It says it's got no parabens, no sulfates, wash away dirt and make up with our gentle soothing cleanser infused with purified water to hydrate the skin. Our formula leaves skin feeling clean and renewed. <clears throat> it was nice enough. It smells lovely, like so fresh, and it's gel texture, like I do like a gel texture. Um, it didn't irritate my skin in general, but I wouldn't use it to take off makeup because oh, I just have no luck when it comes to taking makeup off when it comes to my eyes. Even if I've got eye makeup on and I just use the <coughs> excuse me, makeup remover cloth with water, my eyes are still screaming. If I don't get every single bit of residue off, then it's going to irritate me. Moving on to the next product. So, I love this. And you all need it in your life. And this one doesn't want to focus. Are you going to focus? Maybe if I put it in front of my face, will it focus? Where's the bloody thing? <laughs> okay, so basically it's Pharmacy Green Clean. This is the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I got this in the Feel Unique Beauty Box. You get 12 mils in this and it is just... Oh, I love it. Just got completely done. I literally got every little scrap that I could get out of it. Now, the reason I picked this initially on the Feel Unique is because I've never tried it before. So I thought, new product, give it a go. Glad I did. This is the great thing about being able to do those sorts of things. So it says, gently massage onto dry skin. For eye makeup removal, apply to closed eyes, rinse with warm water or wipe off with a damp washcloth. So if I had makeup on, which I don't, I would take that all over my makeup and I can literally put it all over my eyes, really get in there, get all the makeup off. Then I can go in with another cleanser that isn't this one and my eyes are happy. They're not irritated in the slightest. I don't know what it is about the product or... It just, my, my eyes are like, yes, we can deal with that. So I'm gutted that this is finished, but I have a backup one. But the other day, I didn't realise again that I had a backup one of it. And I used my normal cleansers. I took, used the makeup. What I do is I use the makeup cloth first, just with water. And then I go in with the cleanser and then I cleanse again. And I used cleansers that are gentle. And it's not the cleansers, it's my skin. It's just, I don't know what it is. My eyes never used to be as bad as that, but... For a couple of days after it, I was like, I can't put makeup on. But if I use this, I can put makeup on the day after and the day after and the day after because it just loves this. So I'm totally gutted because obviously when I was selling stuff on Depop and eBay and different things, I was buying other things. And I wish now that I had bought a big tub of this, like the 100 mils or the 50 mils. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend this. I really do. And if you suffer like me with your eyes and your cleansers and stuff, give it a go. It's still on a uh, Feel Unique The Now, so check it out. Another thing that I've had for the longest time, there's still some in this, and I did consider just keeping it and keeping using it. But then I've had it for 
well longer than 24 months. This is the Origins and Madeline Shaw Gloco Nuts Hydrating Coconut Moisture Mask. Now, this is a beautiful mask. It is so lovely. If you don't like coconut, though, you ain't going to like it because it's very coconut heavy. It says this fluffy whipped mask with nourishing coconut replenishes even the dry skin with an instant rush of moisturisation to soften and smooth. Leave skin glowing, plumped and comfortably hydrated. Apply generously to clean skin, relax for 10 to 30 minutes, tissue off excess and massage into skin or leave on overnight for maximum moisture. I never took off, I would just put it on and leave it. This was another product that I found if my skin was flaring up that I could put this on. There's still quite a bit in it and it does smell okay so I don't know. Maybe I should just keep it. I believe they were going to discontinue this but I think you can still get it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, moving on. The next thing I eventually finished up was this mist. This is by 43 Beauty, which is a sister company to Colourpop. And this is the Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. It was nice enough. Give you a bit of a boost. It smells like oranges. Very nice. If I ever get to 2k subscribers, there is a mini one of this in amongst the prizes that one of you guys could win. But I don't seem to be getting near to 2k anytime soon. So a lot of those products, I feel like I won't be able to send to whoever wins. So hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified and let's get me to 2k subscribers so that I can pick a winner. Oh, I've even forgot what I've got in there. I'm going to have to empty that bin. Oh, well. Also finished off this a Craigton's Made in England Sunshine Blonde Silver Tone Correcting Conditioner. This is just one from Home Bargains. Nice enough. Much nicer than the Revoke brand. Do not buy Revoke for your hair. It's awful. Just don't buy it. It's cheap. It's nasty. Just don't. I also finished up the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This stuff again not a dime left is again brilliant see if my eyes are playing up i just i just love this product um i got it in a set was it last christmas might have been last christmas from Kiehl's and i've had samples of it and then i actually found this one in tk maxx down in york it's normally 26 pound but it was 19.99 and i've got another one there as well and it is amazing you don't need much lasts ages again highly recommend to try that out i finished a perfume this is the <clears throat> nina ritchie what is it called bella perfume where is the name bella perfume i don't know if they still make this or not again I went and got a little sample of it from the Pick and Mix sample on Feel Unique. So that's different. And then bought the full-sized bottle. It's got rhubarb in it and it strongly smells of rhubarb, which I don't mind. I hate rhubarb to eat though. But yeah, so I've finished that. Sometimes it's such a shame to throw the bottles out, isn't it? I also finished up this hair mask. This is by Kerastase and this is the strengthening mask for brittle, damaged hair and split ends. And you get, how much is in this? 75 millilitres. Again, brilliant brand. Pricey but really, really good. And I'm not sure if they still have this on the Feel Unique Beauty, uh, beauty box. But I got this from there and really really helped <clears throat> oh, everything's collapsing I'll just have to put it there to move them in last two things I finished off a little Kiehl's toner this was in the set I got this the eye cream and I think it was um you know their tub of moisturizer I forget the name but this is the Kiehl's Calendula I don't know if that's how you say it Herbal Extract Toner, alcohol-free, made with whole flowers and pure extract. 
for normal to oily skin. It was nice enough and it does it did have the little bits of flowers like floating in it. Didn't irritate my skin. I don't know if I'd get it again, but there you go. And then the last thing, of course, is just my normal roll-on that I use. I like to use the Sanex one because again, touch wood. For years, I used to always get rashes under my arms and I haven't. So stick to what you know. So as I said, please do all the necessary like, subscribing and all that jazz. And thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.